Hello and welcome to the dream section of UFOclips.com. That's me, Victor Vias, UFO man. Uh, I got myself an electronic cigarette. Uh, if anybody's a smoker and is having problems uh, getting air into their bloodstream, uh, I don't know if electronic cigarettes are particularly healthy, but they seem to be more healthy than cigarettes. And um, they do satisfy just as well as cigarettes. So let me show you how cool this is. That's a blue light at the end. Anyway, whatever. Got a soda too. Oh, it's empty. Anyway, here here we go. Uh, I thought I'd cover some of the dreams that I have. Like I said, Jesus' dad was told to uh, take uh, his wife to uh, Jerusalem to have Jesus born. So, in my uh, in my particular situation, even though it's been pretty, uh, I don't know if it's been dis established officially. But the aliens are supposed to have control of dreams or visual presentations while you sleep also. But I'm going by the dreams. Here we go. So what's been happening lately? Oh, wait. How about I go for the first one? I've had lots of dreams, and I'm not sure how to interpret every single one of them. But I'll, I'll mention two situations that are stand out. I had a dream that uh, I was playing video games in a very realistic uh, simulator. And um, uh, I was shooting and uh, hurting people and all that stuff, video game style, of course, uh, with nothing really bad happening to anybody except for having a lot of fun and scoring points. But there was this one section of the map that was uh, extremely uh, uh, violent and did pose um, uh, a threat if I got near it. And it was this giant curtain, and you could, I could like uh, get some sort of, uh, I don't know if it was sound or whatever, but I had the impression that very bad things were happening, happening behind the curtain, and that the nations of the world were behind the curtain in this war, warlike map. So, you know, you go back to 9/11. Uh, all the countries have to deal with the fact that we bombed our own country and uh, I'm sure none of them like it and uh, you know I, I will probably put a lot more complex stuff uh, on my website to um, to support the fact that we that there's very powerful people who want to do bad stuff so anyway, so as far as that goes, we're probably headed towards World War III if nobody uh, takes a stand and uh, bees nice to everyone. So anyway, what else? Okay, uh, everybody's probably aware of the light bulb turning out video that I made about Disneyland. Now every night, practically uh, unforgivingly, although I do find it rather interesting and I don't have a problem with it, I have dreams that I go to Disneyland, which I do practically all the time, and I wear my t-shirts that say different things, but uh, as I go to Disneyland in my dreams, all the rides are described visually as pieces of junk that break down all the time. And uh, that's, that's the big theme in my, in my dreams, is the rides breaking down at Disneyland. Of course, the light bulbs also burn out also. Uh, that's God getting the attention that, uh, that, uh, that, um, what I've said about the, the, uh, people who, uh, make the movies aren't that great of guys. Of course, uh, James Cameron made the, uh, I'll go off a little bit. James Cameron made the Avatar movie, which is, is, uh, sort of spiritual and, uh, barely even, uh, technological, uh, barely even uh, environmental and uh, very uh, very judgmental as far as military actions goes but he also made uh, the Terminator movies which are just destruction uh, based on bad uh, scientific but anyway you know you get the idea that maybe he's just blowing smoke up everybody's ass for money um, let me see uh, okay 
so I was talking about Disneyland, right? So uh, here's what happened uh, after the weather got good lately uh, here in Los Angeles. I started going back to Disneyland using my deluxe passport. And uh, this is what happened. The first day I, I went back, uh, the uh, I was in line for the Toad's Wild, Wild Ride. It broke down. That was, that was the only ride that wrote, broke down that day on me. And then um, the second time I went, I went on, I was in line for Alice in Wonderland two times in a row and it broke down. Then I went to Space Mountain, which Space Mountain's a cool ride. But anyway, Space Mountain broke down. And then um, I got a free pass to go on any ride I want. And since I didn't, didn't go on too many, since I missed going on, on, uh, Alice in Wonderland, I went on Alice in Wonderland, and Alice in Wonderland broke down uh, at right exactly right after I got off the ride. Okay, and then the third time I went to Disneyland, oh, by the way, I heard uh, Space Mountain was broke down also from a person uh, doing speeches inside one of the other rides. Anyway, so Space Mountain broke down twice, uh, Alice in Wonderland broke down how many times? Uh, three times. Okay, now then the third time I went to Disneyland after the weather got better. Let me see. What happened then? Uh, uh, let me see. The train ride, uh, Big Thunder Mountain broke. Big Big Thunder Mountain was down for, uh, for, um, for, uh, physical, I don't know. It, it, it was, it didn't break down, but it was, uh, being, it was scheduled for maintenance. And then I went on Casey Jr.'s I know Casey Jr. is sort of a kid's ride, but I, I enjoy the relaxing trip to, uh, through all the gardens and stuff, and it's kind of fun. But anyway, Casey Jr., the train stopped, and um, the lady came out and messed with the doors and stuff. So the doors on Casey Jr. stopped the ride, and then uh, as I was as I left the ride, as I decided to leave Disneyland that day. Um, on the third time I was there, uh, after the weather got good, uh, uh, I was riding the train that circles Disneyland, and, um, before we got to, uh, Toontown, the train stopped because the other train was having some sort of difficulties that were not, uh, passed on to the, to the people in the other train exactly what was going on, so... Anyway, it's it's my dreams, and like I said, uh, God did the uh, the really super cool stuff with the clouds as far as in, when I was in the hospital, and then later when I was eating food with my mom, and you know I kind of I, when I go deeper and interpret this, this is just something I'm pretty much done with done with uh, this this section about telling you about my dreams, but. Uh, I, I do kind of find it interesting that God left it up to my mother, who I have questioned her goodness, to be the uh, the spokesman for what God wanted to tell me as far as the innocence of people related to really super cute animals in the sky. So, you know, my mom, you know, maybe sometimes I think she sucks and she's evil. Just about every single person in my family sometimes I think sucks and is evil. But, you know, that's something to be determined later on, and I don't want to squish everybody as far as uh, trying to get them to think that something really bad is happening, because I don't know for sure. And, you know, I, I, if I'm responsible for telling people that, I don't want to be responsible for uh, telling everybody that the entire world is screwed, because, uh, you know, I don't know if it is actually. So anyway, uh, okay, so what do we got? Disneyland's gonna fall apart. The light bulbs are gonna burn out in in the uh, theme parks, and uh, we may be on the road to World War Three because all these governments don't give a shit about their citizens and want to screw around, um, bombing their own countries and stuff and manipulating banks. But anyway, I'll go deeper into that. I got some videos I want to post from uh, the guy named Alex Jones. Uh, I, I ordered the videos and he uh, does he doesn't mind anybody posting them on their website so 
eventually maybe when I get them I'll stick them on there and he is a pretty interesting figure he has a lot of interesting stuff he puts forward so that's probably something I'll do anyway I'm, I'm hoping I didn't go too far over the uh, limit of speech for uh, YouTube so I better just like cut it off right here just in case I went too far bye peace and love out